There we go. Um, so yeah, it mentions here about retains unlocked blessings and C shards. So I'm not just going to make a new game. I'm actually going to come down here and make a new profile. Because as you can see, I've actually unlocked, you know, not an amazing amount, but I kind of want to go into this with a new game. And along that vein, I'm not going to do Adventurer. Uh, <laughs> I actually started on Survivalist, was like, man, this is too annoying. Went back to Adventurer and then was like, this is too easy. And then went back to Survivalist. <laughs> Okay, what what is it, Cricket? If if this is your way of trying to get me to open the door, I really question your communication skills, miss. One second. Okay. So apparently that was not her way of saying she wanted to go out. But undoubtedly she'll do it another couple of times. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a decent level. But yeah, so we've got two difficulties and then kind of like just an endless mode that's not not really a difficulty. So adventurer, as it mentions. The full inventory is retained upon death. Your boat is retained upon death. Chapter progress is retained. And the combat is less difficult. Now, I only got up to the second chapter when I was fucking around on my, on my save. Combat was pretty, pretty basic. So, I mean, I don't know how difficult it gets later on. But... <laughs> This is what I was grousing a little bit about, is that we've got this one that's basically, um, you know, story mode, basically. But then you've got survivalist. Only items in held inventory are retained. Boat is lost. Return to chapter one. Like, it, it, go it goes from, like, story mode to, um, it goes from, like, story mode to, like, permadeath. And I'm like, hold up. What? <laughs> Okay, so this will show the full intro as well, and I'm I'm not going to skip any of those unless I end up dead and I have to go back through things. Then I will, then I will skip. But up until that point, yeah. Oi! Oi! It's the crab from Banjo Kazooie. Oh wait, no, it's the kraken. Maybe it's both? Ba -da -da -ba -ba. So we're in this mystic void. Oh. We weren't quite done. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, so yeah. Had to move the camera. WASD to walk around. Um, if you had retained blessings and stuff like that, there would actually be a stone here where you could equip them before you go into chapter one. But as we have nothing, onward. Old to lock onto your opponent in combat.
which as far as I can tell these item these islands are randomly generated though there does seem to be a set amount per chapter because I think I've seen three different variants on this island here Okay, so, oh, okay, this is one of the more annoying variants. <laughs> yep. So this is just thick grass. Grab some rocks, why not? Oh, quickly come into here. So, yeah, key items at the moment are just the knife. Those... Some key items can be lost on death, not all of them. Um, generally, the ones that you get through, like, progress, I'll, I'll refer to some of them when we come up to them. There we go. Yeah, so we needed two. There we go. And so over here, we actually have different pages of crafting. So, like, here's our weapons, here's our survival stuff. Um, we will very quickly get other ones. What? What is a kitty cat? What? What? I just keep rubbing yourself against my desk. That doesn't tell me anything. Oh my god, miss. You are just the most infuriating cat at times. Okay. So this, this variant is not the greatest for us, because we need to get over there. We need to be a little bit careful about how much we swim. Oh. Oh. Because you'll notice our stamina at the moment goes down very fast when we swim. <laughs> ah! Damn it. Um, which there is two, ah, oh, whoops. Got which way around that was. Oh, hold on. Now the cat has left the room. Okay. So that, that berry bush that I turned around and ate just before. Um. Okay, good, I didn't. Ah, uh, the, the berry bush and like the rust caps and stuff like that, they, they will actually respawn. If you're away for long enough, I'm not sure the exact timing. This island is actually pretty fast, as far as I know, or I hit the, um, um, or, like, I was messing around, like, right at the reset time when it happened. Uh, so we'll quickly come up here to unlock the rest of our, our trees. Yeah, there's a little, little bit of a cutscene. Touch it! Touch it! So now we can smack people with our, our gigantic bludgeon. Okay, fine, it's an all. And yeah, it mentions about um, crafting a boat. Because we do need boat. Boat. Ah, what, what am I doing? There we go. So yeah, all it needs, thick grass, we already have. Grass rope, man, would you look at that? We already have. <laughs> what, what a twist. <laughs> 
Oh god. Whoops. No, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Turn this back around. So, at least early on, best way to make sure your boat doesn't go anywhere, do that. <laughs> Not gonna fucking go anywhere if it's right up on shore. Most of the time. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah. Come back here! Uh. We're having pork for dinner! Alright. I forgot how angry the Razorback gets. Oh my god, I forgot how annoying it is to fight with a knife. Ow. Yeah, to dodge you actually have to be locked on, which is quite frustrating, because when you're locked on you can't sprint. <laughs> There we go. Uh, not quite what we're after, but we can work with it. Uh, I think, okay, we're, we're going to leave hunting any of them, any more of those for the moment. I don't think there's anything else we really need on this island. It is, it is pretty basic. We'll head over to that one just over there. Because we need to get the keys to be able to go to the next chapter. But what we are looking for at the moment is palm fronds for two reasons. First, well actually I think we can still do an anchor can't we? All right. Oh well, we'll do that in a little bit. But no, what we're, we're looking for is palm fronds because as good as using our ore is, it uh... It's fucking slow. Slow with a capital, italicized, and underscored S. Slow. Stay here. Well, quickly. Quickly get this crafted. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have. There we go. So, the anchor does two things. First, once you get out of the boat, the anchor will drop and stop the boat from moving. And second, if you drown, drowning is not actually fatal, or at least not immediately fatal in this game. Um, if you drown, what it does is it is, if you don't have an anchor, it takes you back to the last island you're on. If you do have an anchor, it takes you back to your boat. Um, so there's a bit of a, bit of a two for one benefit there. Ah, okay, nearly jumped off the edge, don't mind me. <laughs> this is pretty straightforward. A lot of these jumps I'm not even hitting spacebar on, I'm just holding down W. The, the game does have a good vault system. There we go. The Gaia, Gaia widens. The hunter ensnares her prey. One of three. So we can use that as a bit of a, uh, what's the word? Yeah, Nautilus key. This beautifully adjourned shell resonates with a mysterious power, an arcane relic from a bygone era. Much can be learned of the door by examining the key. Now, there is full damage. Fair warning. Um, it's pretty reasonable, all things considered, but there is is full damage. Don't don't think that there is not. Uh what did I need? Okay, yeah, we'll we'll get a sling going, just cause For the moment we're fine, but if it comes down to it, 
uh, a sling is a good way to get fish. Uh, I don't really care about... Like, I'll grab some more of this, just in case. Uh, thick, thick grass is not rare, but if you're an item... If you're on an island where you're trying to craft and you need it and it doesn't have it, it can be annoying. So it's one of those ones where I try to keep, like, a, a stack of 10 on me. But if it ever comes down to it, it can be dropped. It's, it's an extremely common resource. Okay, so push this back out. Now. I'm not going to worry. Normally, I'd try to go to all these other islands. Like, all these other places we can see off in the distance. Hmm. I'm going to quickly check over here, because this looks like the second part of the key. Um, but if this doesn't pan out, I'll head over to that island there. Because one of these islands should have palm fronds. And yeah, one, one use of palm fronds is um, a bag, which is very, very useful. Even if the items don't carry over, like if I die... Any items in the bag are still lost, but it makes a good inventory to put stuff like the, like the grass, where it's, um, not overly necessary. But no, for the most part, the game is quite relaxing. You just have to be very careful about, you know, those, you know, corals and reefs and don't run into reefs for obvious reasons. Boat plus reef equals bad. <laughs> I, sh I should not have to explain why, but boat plus reef is bad. Okay, so if we had a shovel, these here are clay. Um, they don't always show up. Those are palm fronds and those were what we are here for. Well, one of the things we're here for. Okay, how many how many do we have on these uh, this island? Is it only the six? Okay, hold up. Oh, we actually don't have access to the thing I'm after yet. That is fine. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, did I just drop the fucking bar bronze? Don't mind me, don't mind me. Uh, drop the rocks. There we go. There we go. So we have that. Um, bone is kind of eh. That's kind of eh. That's kind of eh. And rocks are definitely eh. So they get moved over as well. Hold okay. up. We may as well get this while we're here. Okay. Second one. The shell spirits of the sea give us life. Our hearts beat in harmony. There we go. I just have to remember what I actually need to make to build the thing I'm after. It's been so long since I've actually have to make it. And I don't remember what I need to, to do to make it. Oh, it might have been leather, actually. In that case, I will actually have to head over to... Ah! I mean, that's, uh, yeah, easy. Exactly what I intended to do. <laughs> I 
Just trying to remember, I don't think it was leather. Whatever, we'll head over this way. So yeah, you'll notice at the moment the sky is pretty clear. The waters are pretty calm. That can change. Because yeah, like our, our visibility out out and around is kind of limited at the moment. Um, it I don't think it ever actually tells you, but there is a map. Like this is the the like the entire area. <laughs> um I, I don't think it ever actually tells you how to open the map. Or if it does, it hasn't done it at the point in chapter two that I got up to. <laughs> so um I'm uh, not quite sure when it when it wants to let you know that. <laughs> oh. We'll go say hello to whatever the fuck this is. Hello! Housekeeping! Hello! Hello, housekeeping! Man, it just looks like... Very... Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, it's... It's, yeah, yeah, I know what it is now. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, drops down the anchor, and we're good. Come over here and jump up. Yeah, so it's a bit of bit of ruins. But these pots, we can smash. They can give sea shards. It's not the only thing they can give though. Um, normally. Oh, we got really fucking lucky out of that. Okay. Um, normally you can't find bamboo until chapter two. So getting it early is actually kind of impressive. The only downside is that's not enough to do anything with. So uh, same with crude metal. That's um that's another thing that you find. Well actually I'm not sure where you find crude metal, because I, I hadn't found it in in chapter two. But yeah, you can see here, like before it was just the grass hole, but with bamboo you can actually do like the, the deck. And um I don't remember what else I needed for the fucking mast. Because you can also make a grass mast, but I don't don't actually remember. And yeah, bamboo bucket. Um you can like a fucking metal plate your um your fucking ship hull spikes. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure the point of the of the bag rack, but I I never actually got to the point where I tried it. So, uh, yeah, fuck it. We'll eat one of them. So we're we're rapidly getting to the point where we do actually want the uh sustenance. Yes, the sustenance. That's that's how we're, that's what we're referring to it as now. So we'll head over here. Um, in this area, only two of the islands, as far as I can remember, have um have like actual animals on it. This one and the one over there, our our starting island. That off in the distance, that is our our gateway to the next area, but. We only have two of the three keys, so not much point heading over there right now. Okay, I will also say I'm getting some impressive thunder in the background, so if I suddenly disappear, actually, just give me one moment, I'm just going to quickly check, um, quickly check the bomb. Uh, yeah, 
Okay, yeah, a little bit. Uh, BOM, for those outside of Australia, is the Bureau of Me Meteorology. Um, just a place where we can go and check, um, check the weather, like the weather radar. Okay, so here we gain access to one of the most important things in the entire game, and I'm joking. Because what better weapon than a pointy stick? Oh, there we go, we needed sticks. So yeah, now now we can make the, uh, the grass mast, which we will be making. Um, just want to make a better fucking weapon than the than a knife, because the knife has no friggin' reach to it. Ah! Come over here. Um, I don't really know the idea behind these little areas. The Great Ones were benevolent but enig enigmatic. Kindly yet cold and distant. Perhaps if we had known their hearts and minds, we not we would not have done what we did. Uh, <laughs> which? Okay, so I need more sticks. I'll eat these since they're here. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Okay, so we can definitely use more palm fronds at least for the moment. Our number one priority is, there we go, more sticks. Sticks! Um, I'm gonna come over here and tap this, just for the hell of it. Because we can't actually cut those trees down at the moment, we need to be able to kill something. Ah, uh, the potters mix salt water into their clay, an act of warship, but practical too. The salt bakes out the glittering something. But once again, we just smash. I see you, little fish, and I have a gift for you. My old equipment. If you are resourceful, you will find it buried on a nearby island. And so, yeah, we'll have to head back over there. Wait, did I get two maps? Showed it twice. So I don't know if I got two maps or if I still only have one. We are getting a surprisingly large amount of bamboo out of this first area. This is... We're already nearly at the point where I've gotten more bamboo out of this first area than I normally get in the second area. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, so there's another stick over there. Oh, I nearly missed this. So I think this was put in as a Halloween, uh, like a Halloween event. I'm not really sure. You can still find it around. It, it's just more blessings. I don't know how good they are compared to the regular ones. I've not really used them. Now, I'll just say as well, you can see here where we've got the parry ability and the palm bag. These are things that can be lost on death. Um, anytime the parry ability is lost, you just have to come back to this island to get it back. Or I, I think there's a crafting... Yeah, there's a craft for it if you just want to ignore it. Or you ignore coming to this island and kind of like skip... Um... Let me run over here, because I do want to grab more of these sticks. Oh god. I think that's all the sticks I need for the moment. I think. Oh, right, no, 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 yeah. 